Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to talk today a little bit about uh, <clears throat> my uh, second time going out and doing the tactical shooting practice. As you know, I'm trying to chronologue my, uh, my, I guess, my journey from becoming a beginner to whatever level I aspire to be here. Um, I'm driving out to my third practice right now. Um, first practice was in the winter, like late winter, early spring. Um, the second practice was about, I don't know, six weeks ago maybe, sometime in like June or July. It's now uh, late August. Um, that, that practice was outdoors. Competitions generally are outdoors, so this one, uh, it's a nice enough day. I think it'll also be outdoors for the practice. It's Saturday, August uh, 25th. And I'll tell you, um, some of the improvements that I made that, that helped me out a bit were um, I, uh, I had that, I had my holster, um, the cloth holster, moved to the outside of the belt. Um, that helped a bit to get the pistol away from my side. Um, it, it just it just helped, I guess, in general. I can go into more details on that at another time when I'm talking about equipment again. But um, I will say, uh, my second time out, I, I, I had a little bit of a, a marked improvement over the first time that I went out to do the tactical shooting practice. I'll call it IPSA, right? Because it's a USPSA, and they call it IPSA, so I'm just going to say IPSA. So when I went out to the last IPSA practice, um, my points got, they went up. It doesn't necessarily mean that I hit the targets as accurate or more accurate than the first time I went out. What it does mean is that I was conscious of going back and picking up misses. So missing the target only costs you if you don't go back and put um, and put marks on, on the target, right? So if you hit the target, and you hit, I've, I've explained this before, but I'll explain it again. If you hit the target and you hit an alpha zone, that's worth five points, and you hit a Charlie zone, and that's worth uh, three points, that'd be a total of eight. Now, if I were to miss the target, that's a minus 10. So let's say I miss the target twice, but I realize that I missed the target. Instead of getting minus 20, I can put two more shots on the target, assuming that I have rounds to, to fire still left on me. Um, obviously, it takes more time to do that, right? It might take another two or three seconds to realize you didn't hit the target, and aim again, and fire again. But the difference here being is that I had, I had left, I don't know, a handful of misses out there, um, first time that I that I went out to the practice. This time, the last time, I, 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 I didn't leave as many misses. I may have been about equally accurate um, from practice one to practice two. Adjust my phone here as I turn. Um, maybe equally as accurate, so it's not like I really improved from a target hitting standpoint. I mean, I did have a fair amount of alphas, a fair amount of charlies, a fair amount of uh, deltas, but um, a couple of misses that I went back and picked up really improved my score. And I was pretty conscious last time of being controlled and concise in my, in my motions and trying to like slow it down a little bit. That actually cost me a little bit. This time I'm going to try a little bit of a different approach. Now that I know what I'm doing a little bit more after the two practices... I'm actually going to fire a lot faster. I can fire a lot faster than I did fire last time. So I'm going to try to improve straight up, just like kill it on the, on the uh, timing this time. And hope that I'm being accurate on the, on the, on the uh, targets that I can see up close, I'll be able to see. The targets that are farther away, it's a little more difficult to tell if you picked it up or not. So I'm going to try to improve my score via going faster this time and hope that I'm also accurate because I'm going to be like not as nervous and not as sloppy with everything this time. So that's my basic um, strategy this time. I think I went from about a 0.9 uh, scoring ratio from my first practice to about a about a one and a half my, my second time out. So a pretty good improvement. I'd obviously like to be up in the range of about a two and a half to where I feel like I'd be competition ready. Um, if I could get anywhere near a two and a half today, um, I think I basically will be competition ready. So I don't expect to get up to a two and a half today, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to pay attention to a couple different things. Like I said, obviously, I'm going to try and um, speed it up. Uh, that'll improve my score. 
um, and then I'm going to try to pick up misses like I did from practice one to practice two. That'll obviously improve my score as well. That's basically it. I don't need to record a, a 10 minute conversation here about this. I will uh, update you after. Thanks. See ya.